Muhammad was the last prophet and messenger sent to Muslims. He was born in Mecca on Monday 12 Rabiul Awal in 570 and died in Medina 632 in a domini at the age of 63 years. His father's name was Abdullah bin Abdul Muttalib and his mother was Amina bin Wahab. The tradition of Maulid Nabi is a celebration to commemorate the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad, carried out as a form of love for the Prophet. The celebration is held every 12th of Rabiul Awal in the Hijri calendar. This tradition is carried out by Muslims in various parts of the world, including in Indonesia. In Indonesia itself, Maulid Nabi is celebrated in various ways according to the customs and habits followed by each region. But in general, the main activity of this commemoration is Zikir, religious lecturers, and eating together as well as a gathering event. Here are the differences in the celebration of the Prophet's birthday from several regions in Indonesia. First, from Java and Madura Island. The cultural Kroyokan of Surabaya and the cultural Amuladen from Madura are the same culture with the meaning of scrambling. This tradition is actually derived from the Japanese language, which means scramble over its other. This tradition is a tradition of scramble over maulid souvenirs that have been hung using a string of rabia. Before that, this cultural event was opened by praying and salawat together. For this event, the residents around the used to buy souvenirs that will be hung and bring sago berkat or food parcels which are then exchanged with each other. The meaning of the tradition at the time of the Maulid is to celebrate the birthday of the Prophet and hopefully that through this tradition it will increase our love for the Prophet Muhammad and hopefully we can also scramble or competing to be closer to the Prophet Muhammad SAW. Kirab Tuhu is an activity that is held every year in Kudus to commemorate the Prophet's birthday as well as the home of one of the village leaders, in which Nasi Tuhu itself is made from cassava and grated coconut. At Kirab Tuhu, there are seven mountains of Tuhu and there are also products and typical village food which are created around the village first by the residents and then will stop at the grave of the village leader. Then, the various mountains will be prayed for and fought over by the residents because they believed that these mountains of wood bring blessings after being prayed for by many people. This tradition began when one of the ulama and village leaders asked the students not to eat rice and replace it with nasi tiwa, because at the time the local people produced more cassava than rice. The tradition of kirab tiwa is still carried out in addition to commemorating the birthday of the prophet, also to preserve the nasi tiwa which is increasingly being forgotten and to maintain harmony and unity among citizens. The next celebration is Kembang Endok. Kembang Endok is a tradition in Banyuwangi, East Java, Indonesia, in order to celebrate the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad SAW, or it usually called as Maulid Nabi. The celebration of Prophet's birthday, held by parading decorated boiled eggs around the village, which is usually held on the 12th of Rabiul Awal, in line with the date of the Prophet Muhammad's birthday. Endok in English is an egg. So, kembang endok is a celebration that uses some boiled eggs that decorated as beautiful as it can, which look like flowers. Then, each stalk of egg flowers plucked into a banana tree. After the tree of eggs flowers ready, it will be paraded around the village with the accompaniment of hadrah music. 
After paraded around the village, the egg flowers will be distributed to all citizens. Eggs in this tradition has a specific meaning which is eggs consist of three layers, egg yak, egg white, and egg shell. Egg yak is a symbol of Ihsan, egg white is a symbol of Islam, and egg shell is a symbol of Iman, which is all of them become one in man and plucked into a banana tree. It means that before Prophet Muhammad burned, some trees do not provide a fruit, but after Prophet Muhammad burned, by the permission of Allah, the tree bears fruit. It concludes that this tradition is kind expression of grateful. The following event is Pa'ayun Maulid. Pa'ayun Maulid is kind of celebration in Banjarmasin, South Kalimantan. This kind of event is held since people say thanks to God as the born of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. By this celebration, people hope and believe that God will bless their life. Not only baby, even old people also join this celebration since they really thankful of the born of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Pa'in Maulid begins by the poetry reading, then continued by a swinging program. Earlier, this celebration was held in everyone's own house, but as the time flies, this event is held in the mosque. It is still in a series of activities ahead of the commemoration of the Prophet's birthday. The Kasapuan Palace of Cherapan carries out the traditional ritual of Siraman Panjang. The was object consisted of nine plates around 700 years old and 40 plates of calligraphy about 600 years old. Apart from the plates, two jars are about 700 years old and two crystal bottles around 500 years old. The courtiers and Sultan Sepu wash dishes and heirlooms using water that has been prayed for in advance. Dozens of heirlooms cleaned in the Pungkoran word Kaputran Karaton Kasapuhan are the legacy of the guardians who spread Islam. The object that are washed will be used at the peak of the birthday commemoration of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. As the religion with a large number of addressed in Indonesia, there are many traditions that are influenced by Islam. One of them is Maudu Lomboa, a tradition carried out by the Tekalar community as a culmination of the celebration of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam's birthday. This celebration is centered around the Chikong River, Takalar Rajansi, South Sulawesi. Modulompoa is proof that two different elements, namely religion and local culture, can unite to form a hereditary tradition. The uniqueness of this tradition lies in julung-julung, or wooden boats, that are decorated in such a way using colorful clothes also filled with various basic ingredients produced from the area around Takala Rajansi, ranging from egg till stock with daily necessities such as pants and clothes, also toilet tries like soap or toothpaste. Besides that, there is also Mapanja or Puncak Silat attraction which is performed by the native yachts of Chikoang. 
All the decorations contained in this tradition are as a symbol that the teachings of Islam enter the Qigong area broke by the traders. Various offerings are also presented as filler for julung such as large baskets made of woven palm leaves or commonly called baku maudu, then filled by various dishes. This julung julung will later be collected at a point where various processions are carried out. The main procession of this series events is Rate, which is the reading of poems or praise intended from the Prophet Muhammad. And then beside that, Modulong by itself is not just a tradition carrier to commemorate the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu birthday, but also as a gathering place for the people of Takalar Regency. In the end, all of this celebration have the same goal of being happy for the birth of the Prophet Muhammad as the last messenger of Allah. Apart from being happy with the birth of the Prophet Muhammad, we should also obey the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. Why do we have to obey the Prophet Muhammad? Because Allah says in Surah An-Nisa verse 80, May yuti'ir rasula faqad Allah. Whoever obeys the Prophet, then in fact he has obeyed Allah. And Surah An-Nur verse 56, Wa ati'ur rasula la'allakum turhamun. And obey the apostle or messenger so that you will be blessed.